Good afternoon and welcome to the workbench. So as you can see, we're still not in the, the new house, but um, my understanding is that that's um, very much now in the going and we are talking days rather than weeks and months. So this will hopefully be the last video from here, famous last words. Um, and so with that in mind, I thought I'd do a quick video on some things I've picked up in the meantime while I've been waiting for my workshop to be moved. Um, I don't want to start any new projects, so I'm just kind of backfilling. And this is an in, these these two are, are sets of calipers um, that I've bought because I'm really trying to get away from digital readouts and digital measuring and and go fully analog. So um, I got a a Starrett internal caliper. So it's uh, it's got a spring and it's got a screw thread, and this will allow you to measure the uh, distance between two points on the inside of a of a deep hole or something like that. Um, or the inside diameter of a cylinder or something. And uh, this is, these are called Jenny odd leg, Jenny or odd leg calipers. And the idea is that you measure the distance between the edge of something and a, and a given point um, using a, a rule or something. And then you can hook this little leg on and then scribe fully parallel with an edge. Now I've got a vernier height gauge and a surface plate. So it makes this redundant for, for some marking out um, but I think it's going to be very useful if things are already fixtured in the lathe somehow or, or they're curved surfaces or something that's been machined uh, already and needs to be amended. Um, I thought that'd be quite cool. And these are the tiniest pair of, um, of outside calipers, um, which I just thought were very cute and, uh, and needed to be seen. And this last item is a Hemingway Kits uh, locking handle for the lathe carriage. I'm a little disappointed because this is plastic and I'm really trying to get away from using plastic in, in anything that I do. Um, but nevertheless, um, this looks like a very quick thing. You, you essentially make a small uh, collar out of this bar and this bar you thread the end and then that goes down into this hole uh, where this bolt currently is. And when you tighten this bolt, uh, it locks the carriage. So the handle is just instead of having uh, the bolt in there. Uh, and what that means is that the carriage can't move laterally, uh, which is very handy for things like parting off where you want lots of rigidity. Or maybe if you're milling and you want to just face something and you don't want to risk um, the, uh, the backlash in the, in the carriage causing anything to move. I don't know, but it's good practice to use the carriage lock and I, and I try and get around to it uh, whenever I can, but having a handle there to quickly on off I think would be very handy. So, uh, so that's that. Um, you might have noticed that the um, the tool drawers are uh, are slightly changed, and that's part of another video that I'm uh, I'm putting together uh, as and when the parts arrive, and hopefully I'll have that out for you soon. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you. <laughs> 